my gosh. It's full of records. Hey, what a day, right? <laughs> Straight Coca-Cola this time. Cheers. Man, this past month, actually the past few months have been great for a lot of vinyl community people and uh, no exception for me. Uh, if you've seen some of my past videos, particularly with this summer, uh, got some great BCLT, some good finds, but this is um, the last day of August and I'm going to post some recent August finds. Most of these are from crate digging at my usual haunts and honey holes, thrift stores, uh, antique mall, uh, used record bins. Plus, there's a few online purchases that I made of some reissues. Kind of treated myself for once when I, I had a little blessing of a little extra money. So, let me get right to it. Um, a couple things I was really happy to find. I'd been needing a copy of this for the longest time. Get your yayas out the Rolling Stones live in concert. This is a beautiful, beautiful VG Plus copy that I found cheap. Now, you got to remember, most of these... None of these I show are over five bucks. Most of them were cheaper than that. I've been wanting a nice mono copy of this. Uh, previous copy I had was stereo enhanced, you know, one of those, uh, I, well, you know, my, my philosophy on that. I particularly despise those uh, stereo enhanced to resemble stereo albums, but this is a, this is a true mono Really happy to get this nice clean copy too. It's one that I've found. I've been wanting some Hoyt Axton Life Machine. Love Hoyt Axton. This is actually the first Hoyt Axton album I've had. I've had some uh, uh, CDs, MP3s, and stuff, but really happy to find this cheap. Beach Boys Party. I love the Beach Boys. Really happy to find this album too. Love it. Love it, love it. And this one was an interesting one I, I found. Uh, super cheap. This is the Swinging Blue Jeans. This is a compilation of early to mid 60s. Uh, these were... Uh, some more boys from Liverpool that were apparently contemporaries of the Beatles in the Liverpool scene of the early to mid 1960s. Although they never got the breaks and the accolades that the Beatles got. This is actually some pretty interesting uh, British rock and pop. And it's a keeper. This was a, uh, I think this was a, was it a German or a British. No, 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 I can't really tell. I think this is a uh, German, German comp. But still, the swinging blue jeans. <laughs> Here's another import. This is a, uh, a British, uh, the box tops. Non-stop. I've got some other box tops records. This one's, uh, Full of uh, uh, Memphis soul, a uh, little bit of uh, country rock too. Uh, it's an excellent copy on Bell Records. See, it's got the little British fold over sleeve. Really happy to find that one cheap. All right, next some psychedelic rock. Man, I was <laughs> went to. Uh, um, a hobby store in Taswell and and uh, found a bunch of stuff that was like super cheap. 
couldn't believe it. But uh, Moby Grape. Wow. Psychedelic classic. Moby Grape. This is an original. For those of you that don't know, side A of this album is actually two speeds. It's 33 and a third normal for like the first four or five songs. The last song on side A, you actually have to uh, turn the uh, record player to 78 RPM. <laughs> it's, <laughs> well, it's out there. But I love it. I've been wanting this. This is such a, such a clean copy of it too. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Stuff's flying everywhere here. And this was interesting too. The Best of UFO. This is a, a German comp of an uh, early version of uh, UFO. This was from like uh, late 60s through the early 70s. This particular album has a bit more of a um, kind of a psychedelic space rock <laughs> kind of sound to it. A little little different type rock than, say, some of the uh, more famous UFO albums. Uh, Lights Out, for example. This is not like that. Uh, but yeah, I real tickled to find this. This is a very clean German copy of this album, too. And I saw this one in Tazewell. Had no idea. I've never heard of this. The Candyman. So uh, I went ahead and bought the album because I love the artwork. I mean, look at that. that. That just reeks of 60s psychedelia. And this album is, um, I guess you could call it 60s pop, maybe uh, psychedelic pop. Um uh, I'm, I believe, let me see, yeah, this this album had members that uh, eventually went on to uh, uh, start the Atlanta Rhythm section. And uh, this album is uh, some nice British-style pop, even though it was recorded in the USA by, you know, <laughs> Southern USA uh, rock band. Take them out, man. I love this album. I love this kind of stuff. Here's another one that was interesting. The Moonrakers. This one has uh, got kind of some uh, Christian psych, maybe. It also had, um, I believe it had members that went on to, uh, to do other bands later. I, you know, I don't have the Wikipedia in front of me here. But uh, this is an interesting album. It's got uh, uh, elements of psych, elements of Christian psych, and some straight ahead rock. Uh, really a, a great album. The Moonrakers. It's another rock album. A little bit of early 70s rock, maybe with some slight acid rock tinges on some of the tunes there. It's got the the infamous DOA on it. But yeah, this is a nice one. I believe this one is on that... Yeah, I love it. It's on that, that green and purple capital label that I love so much. Now this one... This one cost me a few extra bucks. This one wasn't super cheap, but it was more than five bucks. Let me put it that way. But I wanted to get this heavy Iron Butterfly's first album. This is a, a nice copy, original on Atco. I've got, uh, I think, the first five Iron Butterfly albums. I had a reissue of this with a different cover. It was like an 80s reissue. And, and instead of having this nice psychedelic artwork, it just had a photograph of the band on the cover of it. But, yeah, really happy to get this. Yes, the Iron Butterfly theme. Man, it'll put you into butterfly space. All right, some different things here. Let me see what I got here. 
Yeah. I know a lot of people in the vinyl community are not real fans of greatest hits or certain comps, but I really love comps. I love greatest hits. I've got a nice collection of greatest hits albums and comps. And uh, this one looked really nice, nice and clean. Uh, this is Judy Collins, The First 15 Years. And it's just uh, basically a compilation of hits and cuts from her first 15 years of recording. So, uh, and it's an excellent shape, excellent condition. So I had to pick this one up cheap. All right. This was a nice one I found the other day. Soulful Strut, Young Holt Unlimited. It's kind of funky, jazzy, 60s instrumental music. Soulful Strut. Beautiful, beautiful album. And stoked to find these. Some more from my Ventures collection. Uh, uh, give me just a moment. Let me answer that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Had to take that call. Where was I? The Ventures. Yeah, I was really happy to uh, uh, find these from my Ventures collection. This is uh, Dance with the Ventures. And then this one particularly was a, a good find. Underground Fire. I've been wanting this one particularly. So both of these are in great shape. Got them cheap too. It's for uh, my Exotica collection here. <laughs> Dances of Port Said. This is uh, Mohammed El Bakar and his Oriental Ensemble. I like the cover a lot better than I like the music. <laughs> but this is one of those Audio Fidelity uh, label recordings that I really uh, like to have these. I've got a collection of these. And uh, yeah, more Exotica. It's a couple I found recently at my son's uh, store. Somebody brought in Ultravox. I believe this is there's John Fox. I believe this may be their first LP. I think it's produced uh, by Brian Eno, or at least partially produced by Brian Eno. Produced by Brian Eno, okay, and Ultravox. So yeah, and another Brian Eno related thing here. Uh, 801 Live. It's also got uh, Brian Eno and uh, uh, see, Phil Manzanera of uh, Roxy Music and other musicians. Some nice little uh, eh, sort of prog, sort of rock. It's another comp. Uh, like I said, I love these greatest hits, best of collections. And Jim Croce, Photographs and Memories, his greatest hits. This has got everything you need from Jim Croce. Bad Bad Leroy Brown, Operator. Rapid Roy, the Stock Car Boy. Time in a Bottle. Working at the Car Wash Blues, a lot of great stuff. It's an excellent coffee, too. It's a couple of rock and roll. Nice 70s rock here. It's Blue Oyster Cult. Tyranny and Mutation. Love some Blue Oyster Cult. This is from their, I think this is their second album. During that period where all their album covers were in black and white. <laughs> like this cactus restrictions some good old early 70s rock and roll i believe this had members of um see carmen apathy tim bogart yeah from, from vanilla fudge their little 
After Vanilla Fudge or Side Project, whatever you call it. Some great rock and roll. Here's some uh, jazz that I found just the other day. Really nice. Count Basie. Classics by the great Count Basie band. Look at that. I love that glossy cover. I mean, this is a nice, clean copy. Columbia 6i. And just look at this. That's like a near mint. It's glossy. It's beautiful, beautiful album. All right. And here's one. This is still sealed. This is a, a MCA reissue. It says MCA Impulse. But I was unfamiliar with this artist, but about anything I can find that's got the uh, Impulse name on the label, it's got to be pretty good. And you know what? This is sealed. And let's just pop the seal on it here. Ah, a little thumbnail. Ah. There you have it. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's got the blue MCA rainbow label with, uh, in small letters, impulse, but still, hey. It's like a brand new record. <laughs> and got this one pretty cheap. Oh, it's got a paper inside of it. Just a little advertisement for other jazz albums on this label. So I'm looking forward to giving this a listen. Need to, uh, oops, sorry about that. I banged the tripod. You hear my chair? Yeah, the old chair. All right, and finally, last two items here. Kind of treated myself. I, I normally don't order things online. Uh, I usually tend to shop locally at uh, local shops and thrift stores because it's cheap and I'm cheap. But I got a little bit ahead, had a few bucks, and a couple things that I've been wanting to get for a long time. There's, uh, there's no way I can afford originals. So I, this is a Music on Vinyl reissue of July. Nice... Uh, uh, 1968 uh, psychedelic album. Love this stuff too. On the major minor label and Ultimate Spinach. Behold and see. Behold and see. <laughs> wow. Killer psychedelic album. I've been wanting a copy of this forever and ever. And there's no way I can track down an original. So this, uh, this Sunday's reissue is just perfect. Sounds awesome. I'm happy with it. So there you have it. That's, that's my finds and buys from uh, the last few weeks of August. And, uh, hey, it's been a good summer so far uh, in a lot of ways, not just in vinyl, but i uh, been blessed in so many ways with my family and other things. And uh, I hope it's uh, been a blessing, a blessed summer for all of you folks too. So peace and love. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.